up, gentlemen? So before we get started, I would just like to give you an Alpha M knuckle bump for being so damn incredible. If you'd reciprocate, I would appreciate one of these. Konnichiwa. No disputing the fact that you're incredible and can accomplish great, amazing things. But the only way you're going to be able to truly reach your potential is if you conquer your inner alpha. Commit yourself for the next 30 days to the Alpha M Alpha plan. You are going to be amazed at how much better you feel, how much more confident, how much more ass you kick. Six things that you need to pay attention to in order to obtain alpha enlightenment. Number one is spiritual. In my opinion, to truly reach alpha status, you need to be spiritual. Now, whatever that means to you, it means to you. Whether or not you believe in Jesus, Allah, Krishna, Buddha, it doesn't matter to me. But the one thing I would say is that I want us all to feel more appreciative of what's good in our life. The next 30 days, I want you to practice gratitude. And the way that we're going to do that is with the sheet of paper and a pen. Grab a sheet of paper and write down something you are thankful for. And then tape that piece of paper to your mirror. On day two, you're going to add something else. And three, and four, 30 days, I want you to write down something you are grateful for. And what happens is psychologically, you're going to realize that, wow, I've got a lot of incredible things that are happening in my life that I'm thankful for. Too often, we focus on the negative, right? This is bad. This isn't going well. But when you actually make it a point to acknowledge the incredible things that are happening in your life, things get better all around. Number two is social. For the next 30 days, you are going to let the world know how alpha you are. How are you going to do that? Each day, every single day, I want you to make it a point to talk to and engage a stranger. You are going to make it a point to talk to somebody that you don't know. This could be a coworker. This could be a classmate. This could be a barista at Starbucks or a cashier. You go up and you say hello, but you're not getting off that easy. You've got to engage them and ask a second follow-up question. How is their day going? What are they doing? doing? Any exciting plans this weekend? The deal is you need to develop your social skills. And this is one way to help push you outside of your comfort zone and box and meet new people. Not to mention the people that you meet are going to view you as somebody who is friendly. And alphas are definitely friendly. Number three is personal presentation. There are three facets to this. Number one is exercise. Number two is style. And number three is grooming. What I want you to do for the next 30 days is exercise every single day. Now, if you're somebody who's already like exercising, I'd like to give you a knuckle bump. You know how incredibly amazing you feel because of it. But if you're not doing anything, gentlemen, for the next 30 days, you are starting. Style, I want you cleaning out your wardrobe. Get rid of the clutter. Next 30 days, you are cleaning out the clutter, getting rid of clothes that you don't wear, you don't like, that don't fit, that are old, that are worn out. You are going to grab yourself a trash bag and every single day I want you trying on a top and a pair of pants. It could be shorts, it could be underwear, whatever. And if you don't like it, if you don't love it, I want you to throw it in the bag. At the end of 30 days, you're going to have a bunch of crap in this bag and you're going to donate it to charity, which makes you feel good because you're doing something kind for somebody else. And for grooming, we're talking about your hair. I want you to decide on doing something different with your hair. This may mean that you go a little bit shorter. This may mean that you grow it out a little bit. This may mean that you get rid of the comb over or the toupee. If you're thinning or balding, guys, it is time to take it off. Like, go short or go home. Also, what I recommend is grow a little bit of facial hair. If when I said that, you go, no, whoa, hey, no, Alpha, I'm not ready to do that because I kind of want to keep my hair. Gentlemen, the next 30 days, there's something for you as well. There's a link down below to Bosley, today's video sponsor, and the greatest thing to happen to hair loss since Bosley. If you're somebody who is thinning, receding a little bit, you notice some extra hairs in the drain or on your pillow, or you have a family history of hair loss, there's a link down below to go grab the free, completely free guide to hair loss and hair restoration. You're also going to get a $250 Bosley gift card that if you make an appointment, go in, sit down with the counselor, talk about you, your hair loss, the options, not to mention the price, the duration of treatment, how it all works, guys. You can use that $250 gift card for any of the services that Bosley offers. Guys, here is the deal. Do not let another day go by, another hair fall out, guys. Hit that link down below and download the free guide and grab that gift card. Go in, sit down with the counselor. They can tell you everything. They can answer any questions that you have and talk you through the process, show you before and after pictures, guys. Bosley is the real deal. Do you think these dudes are happy they went to Bosley? You bet your alpha ass they are.
Bravo sucks. It is a confidence killer. And it breaks my heart to think that you are not doing anything about it because you think, oh, my dad's bald or oh, my uncle Barry's bald. Gentlemen, there is something you can do about it. Hit that link, grab the guy, grab the gift card, and talk to my boys at Bosley. Number four is professional, your career. Are you currently happy with what you're doing? If the answer is yes, then proceed to kick ass and rock on and climb that ladder. But if the answer is no, not really, it's time to make a plan. In the next 30 days, I want you updating your resume. I'm here to tell you, life's too short to be miserable eight, nine, 10 hours a day. You gotta look for something else, but it starts with you making a plan, taking action, but do not quit until you find something else. Number four was career, but number five is financial. We wanna make sure for the next 30 days that you are getting your financial house in order. First step of getting your financial house in order is understanding how much you're spending and how much you're bringing in. And so once again, you're grabbing a piece of paper and every single day you are keeping track of how much money you're spending. Spending. 30 days, you're figuring out how much money you're spending, and then you also know how much money you are bringing in. And if there is a discrepancy, you need to figure out what on the expense side you can eliminate. If you're spending more than you're bringing in, this is a big problem. And the deal is this, I'm not talking about saving, I'm just talking about getting you to break even. And it's all about developing a budget. For the next 30 days, I want you to figure out and develop your budget. And last, but certainly not least, the sixth pillar of the Alpha 30 Day Plan is is all about interpersonal relationship. The next 30 days, it's all about connecting with people that you love because to be completely honest, you need to surround yourself with people that are good, that love you. And if this means that you got to make up with some people or deal with some things that you've been like harboring and hanging on to, gentlemen, it is worth it. Forgiveness is a gift that alphas give themselves. It's not for the other people, it's for you. It's for you being able to put the past in the past. You might not like what has happened to you. You might not like accept it, but at the end of the day, you've got to be willing to put it behind you because until you do that, you will never ever reach alpha status.